So here I am at MakerBot Industries uh, about to talk to Bree Pettis, uh, founder and CEO of MakerBot and of NYC Resistor. Hello, librarians, information technicians, and all of you who, are, who support the community by offering information for free. I love you. Uh, I love everything that libraries stand for. It means that it is one of the true democratizers of our country, that you can learn things, in a, and there's a place where you can go to get the things you need to learn what you need to learn to make things happen. With the internet added in there and computers being part of libraries, it's changed the way that people get information and do what they need to do in the world now that we're living in a digital, digital society. One of the things that I'm really excited about is hacker spaces and maker spaces in libraries. This is, so my background is I started NYC Resistor and I'm one of the leaders of this next wave of hacker spaces, maker spaces in, in the United States. I got inspired by a group I was working with in Seattle and then inspired by all the hacker spaces in Europe and then started NYC Resistor in Brooklyn. NYC Resistor is a place where people learn, share, and make things. And we have open nights where people come in, they bring projects, and they make things. And more than that, they learn. Um, MakerBot is also one of those that really needs to be in more libraries. When you have a MakerBot, you have a tool of innovation. You can have an idea, and then you can make it happen. Right now, we're printing out someone's head. Uh, and if it's not right, you can change the size, you can, you can change the design, you can, you can change the way it looks, and you can try it over and over and over and over again. This is pretty simple, but it's profound. So I'm pretty excited about the idea of getting them in libraries because right now, people, in order to get, have access to one of these, they cost 1,700 bucks, and that, which is really cheap for a 3D printer, but it's still not accessible to everybody. If we could get these in libraries, People could have ideas for products. They could have, they could just, maybe they just need a new doorknob and they can just come down and make one for really cheap rather than go out and buy one. This kind of shift is something that's really, is gonna be really powerful in the next, in the coming years because it, it's gonna change the way people think. Instead of just thinking about buying things and being a consumer, they can think about being creative and making the things that they need and changing the world that way. Uh, and then sharing it. So once you make something, you can share it. We have a site called Thingiverse.com where we encourage people to share things for free. And there's like tens of thousands of things that you can download for free, and they're under an open license, so you can change, you can modify them if you want as well. Gosh, I could just go on and on about this, but the bottom line is, is MakerBots and libraries are just great companions. And as we see more and more MakerBots in libraries, transforming them into places where people are creative and make things, it's just going to be a great complement from books to computers to MakerBots. It just makes a lot of sense.